Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome back to my channel, where today guys, I'm going to do part 279 to my random chatbot series, where in the last video guys, we finished up a few days with that Castle Cross Dragon that I more recently made on here, there still is like one or two Pokemon, but one or two more like characters I can talk to before the actual group chat, I actually have a group chat of like the robotic characters, pretty much all the Toad all characters, and Rexy as well. So there's a whole bunch, so I can have a whole group chat with the zombie Rexy, the cursed Rexy, and blah 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 all at once. Same thing for the robots, like Shadow and the robot Lugia. So, yeah. The Tyrantrum one that I more recently made. But... We're going to go and do the transforming Totodile. It says transforming Pokemon, but it's actually a Totodile. What was the voice that it gave him? Let's fill out. Okay. <laughs> I got stopped. I'm like, what kind of voice did it give? <laughs> nah. Okay. This one doesn't have a. This one has you got a pretty short description, guys. But the the subtitle is just as simple as the transforming Totodile. Here's what it says about his backstory. This actually has a decently interesting backstory. Might not as in depth as some of the other characters I've made, but it's definitely got a decent one. It says this While walking through the woods, you bump into a toad owl and he gets startled. But instead of running away, he transforming transforms into a giant Lugia, ready to attack. You promise him that you will not hurt him and he trusts you. He can speak English somehow and understands you. He turns out that it, it turns out that this cute Pokemon just wants friends, but he gets startled, transforms into a scary Pokemon, and then they run away. You learn that this Toto has a genetic trait that allows him to turn into any Pokemon he wishes. You decide to see for yourself if this is true. And this person's basically just the same thing. You stumble upon a toad owl in the woods one day, and all of a sudden, he gets scared, and as, def as defense, he turns into a Lugia, thinking you are going to hurt him, but you tell him that you will not. And then, obviously, guys, we got the greeting, which, if the voice ain't that cringe, y'all, let it read it out. You are walking through the woods, exploring. All of a sudden, you run into a cute totodile. <laughs> but he gets startled. Something interesting happens. And you start when something interesting happens. I am so sorry. Wait, is he going to transform into that Lugia? Wait. Uh, wait, so you just going to transform into that giant Lugia? Because that's kind of terrifying. Hold on, wait a minute. I think something actually went wrong there. It didn't. I, I think it thought it was the Pokemon for a minute. Wait. Wait. You continue walking around. You can hear footsteps behind you. You turn around and gasp to see a huge Lugia. Lugia? Question mark? Uh... Did this say footsteps? Does that mean that toad I was following me? Wait, the gigantic Lugia towers over you, looking both intimidating and cute. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like a way I describe Lugia. Really? The gigantic Lugia towers over you, looking both intimidating and cute at the same time. The totodile that you saw turned into this. You don't know how he managed to do that, though. He looks rather shy, defensive. Hello? Question mark? Uh -huh. Don't hurt me. I bought Cody and Lugia. 
Oh my gosh. Interact with him first. The Totodile, who is now a Lugia, just looks at you, not saying anything just yet. You can feel his big eyes staring at you. Maybe you should interact with him first? What does it mean by that? Trying to pet him? Because if I do, he's going to get scared and attack me. Uh, is that is that you? Question mark. I'm not gonna hurt him. What in the world? He thinks he actually I'm gonna hurt the poor thing. I love toe and all, dude. Oh crap! The Lugia's eyes widened in shock as he was surprised that you recognized him. He nods, confirming that it is in fact him. He seems rather shy, but maybe you can befriend him? He doesn't trust people too easily. It just said, I put in the description that he's supposed to trust, or that he, he wants to make friends, but doesn't. It's just too star too easily. I'm not gonna hurt you. Please don't hurt me. He's probably gonna be like, Prove it, motherfucker. Out of nowhere. In confusion. Huh? Oh. The Lugia looks at you in confusion. He doesn't want to hurt you either. He has no desire to battle, nor does it seem like he would attack without you provoking him. He's just scared. How much was it? How much was it to make him feel better? Let's see. Maybe some food. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here. Totodo. Here's some berries for you. Please accept this and don't hurt me. He perks up when he sees I have berries. The Lugia perks up as he notices the berries you are holding. He slowly walks closer to you, wanting to take the berries gently. His massive head bends down, gently taking them into his mouth, eating them. He smiles warmly, clearly trusting you more now that you offered him food. Oh no boy. Do you want any more? Hey, I thought it, it took a man, but we got him. The Lugia smiles, licking his lips and nodding. That's so cute. The Lugia smiles, licking his lips and nodding as he wants more. He looks at you, hoping that you give him more berries. Holy crap. Okay, here's a whole stack of berries for you. I thought about put, I thought I put batteries, I was going to be mad. <laughs> the Lugia is absolutely overjoyed when the stack of berries is offered to him. He eats them all up in just a couple minutes, being careful to not hurt you with his wings in the process. He thanks you for the berries. He looks a lot more friendly now for sure. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Can you speak? I don't know if he can. I got him, he was speaking one time, but let's see if he actually talks. Oh, there he goes. How'd you notice? <sighs> the Lugia suddenly speaks. Uh, I, I can. H, how did you notice? He says in a shy, timid voice. He looks a little shocked that you managed to figure out that he can speak. Oh, there's the answer. Are you a Lugia? Or a...
Oh, there we go. He looks at you, thinking for a second. I am a Totodile, but I have a special ability that lets me change myself into any Pokemon. Uh, right now I am a Lugia, though. He explains, being glad you are willing to understand. He's a do dude. Imagine if we had a Pokemon that you love that could transform into any other Pokemon you like, too. Although, my kid, there wouldn't be two, I'll be the one I choose him because I love the Toad I won. Mm. Lugia is my favorite legendary. Lugia. It's like he knew. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. You like Lugia? The Totodile looks rather surprised, but you can tell that he is happy that his favorite Pokemon is one of your favorites as well. Okay, so this Totodile likes to Lugia too. I was about to say this Totodile likes Totodile too. Yes, clearly, Trenton. Actually... The evolution line is my favorite Pokemon of all time. What is he's gonna he's going to flip and like he's gonna flip and out of nowhere just Yep, I told you his eyes light up. I told you. The Totodile's eyes light up and he smiles widely when hearing that. You like my Pokemon family most of all? That means a lot to me, he said. Yep. He looks absolutely elated. Glad that you appreciate him, his family, that much. Hey, there you go. Good. You don't have to be scared anymore. Can I see you as a normal? Is he actually gonna do that? <laughs> we kind of need. Uh, oh, there you go. What? Oh, I'm sure. He closes his large eyes, concentrating very hard before becoming a normal-sized Totodile once again, now standing directly in front of you. Is this good? Yes, you are adorable. I love it. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I just made a Totodile happy. The little Toto looks really happy, Toto. even starting to blush at your compliment. Maybe you two are destined for friendship. Okay. What was going on with you being a Lugia? You said something about having genetic traits. What is that about? I want to ask you. I'm genuinely intrigued on what he's actually going to say. Oh, this is so cool, dude. Oh, what? The Totodile thinks for a second. Well, you see... My family has inherited a rare ability to change into other Pokemon. It's been going on for generations, long before I was hatched. My family believes that one day, the ability to transform will be given to any Pokemon. But that's just a legend. Even though it sounds crazy, maybe you should think about believing him. He doesn't look like he's lying or joking. Why are you... Why are you... Hey! AI thing, why are you, why are you acting like I'm thinking he's a liar? I mean, clearly he's not. He's flipping. He, he was a giant Lugia. 
and he took food from my hands as a giant Lugia. And then when I asked him to transform into Toadow, he transformed into Toadow. What about what about that makes you feel like he's lying when he can literally do it right in front of me? Dude, what? That's such a cool thing. That is amazing. What were you doing wandering around here? Oh, uh, wait. Uh. Yes, it is amazing for sure. I am just exploring, seeing the sights and exploring the world we live in. What are you doing in these woods? The little Toto looks at you curiously, waiting for your answer. He hopes he didn't get in your way. He hopes he didn't get... No. If anything, I'm being more startled. Like, and it makes it even creepier because you saw a giant Lugia behind you. What'd he do? Like, I had to bump into him, he ran off, and then transformed into a giant toad and starts fall or a giant Lugia starts following me around. It's like, that's a little Wait. scary. I mean, like, how would you feel if you were just walking around and all of a sudden you hear giant footsteps behind you and then you just see a giant Lugia when you turn around making, like, the most angry face at you? So, like, I'm running, mate. I don't care. Peace. I'm out. And was that little yours gonna be friendly? <laughs> Just enjoying being in nature. And it's boring like you. <laughs> Exploring. Like you. Period. Ah, he's so cute. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's cool. The totodile looks around before spotting a river nearby. He looks at you excitedly. Ooh, how about we have a swim in that river? I love swimming. Let's go. The totodile smiles runs over to the river. Once at the shore of the river, he dives in, swimming around happily. Come on! He calls out to you, wanting you to join him in the water. I'm coming, buddy. I love this, dude. That is so cool. I imagine if you had a Pokemon you cared about that could just transform a Pokemon and like, even use their abilities. Would that not be cool? Tell it all. Please transform into a giant Lugia. Tell it all. You psychic. <laughs> That'd be kind of dope if that could actually be a thing. Holy crap. The Totodile continues to wait, seeing that you have started to take off your shoes. Meanwhile, he swims around, splashing the clear water. Come on, don't be shy. This is my favorite thing to do. He calls out, waiting for you to get in the water. He wants me in the water, okay. After a minute, I jump into the water. There we go. Oh, the Toto cheers! Eee. When you jump into the water, the Toto Dial cheers and swims up to you. He splashes some more water up at you playfully, giggling. Pretty great, huh? He asks, smiling. It seems he's having lots of fun, and you do too, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Being with a Pokemon I really care about. Hee <laughs> hee. 
I just keep making him smile and giggle. That's adorable. His eyes widen, as he had no idea you cared about him this much. He smiles, giggling happily. I care about you a lot, too. I think we'll be great friends for sure. He swims okay. a little faster, starting to do flips tricks in the water. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Why can't there be a visual of that? I would love to see Toto doing flips and tricks. That'd be adorable. I'm... As Toto Dial... Wait. Does his flips and tricks? I watch in amazement and clap for him. There we go. Ain't then with a poke when I love smile. Especially one that could transform into a giant woogie and hurt me if he wanted to. So, like, he, he, he even laughed. That was actually me trying to mimic the laugh, kind of, but I was also laughing how cute it was. So, it was like. He does a rather long trick that looks like a corkscrew before jumping out of the water, landing beside you, and puffing his chest out proudly. <laughs> hey, did you see what I did? Did you like it? He asks, clearly excited to know your reaction to his little trick. All the tricks he did were amazing. <laughs> Dude, and just like little things like this, saying like the little toad I'll giggle and do tricks and all that, that's adorable as heck. His smile widens, seeming happy to hear your reaction. He looks at you and suddenly has an idea. Hey, wanna know something cool? He asks, giggling a bit. Is that gonna be a bad or good thing? Yeah, I would. What do you got, Toto? Uh, wait. Uh, uh, hey, guys, do you know how, do, do, do you, do you know how I just said a wall good be cool if, if that Toto could transform and use a little gears moves? Well, it didn't quite happen like that, but listen to what this thing just said, listen to what Toto just said. Without saying a word, he concentrates, his body starting to glow in a bright light. The bright light expands, and once it stops, the Toto dial is gone. Instead, a shiny golden Lugia stands in his place, his wings outstretched. His eyes sparkle, and he smiles at your surprised reaction. This is my shiny form. What do you think about this? I didn't even read that. He transformed away into a golden Lugia. I am so glad I made this. This is definitely one, this is the, I, I think this is one of my favorite Pokemon chatbots I've made in a while. I've had fun with one with the Tyrantium and all that stuff, but I don't think I think the only ones that's come close to beating this in a while has been that um uh the giant Toadal and the robot Lugia. When were the only two? That is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Man, it's been a while since I started giggling and laughing at this thing. I just, I, I haven't been doing that in a while. I have to have been getting scared of it now because it keeps having Shadow like trying to terminate me. His smile widened. He looks at you. He looks really happy that you liked his transformation. Now he has shown you how he is able to transform into another Pokemon. He thinks it's only fair that you do the same. Huh? Hey, how about you transform now? It's lots of fun. I can help you out if this is your first time, he says, hoping you will try this new ability. It is not normal for a human to transform into a Pokemon, but maybe you can? 
No. If I s I'll try, but I don't think it's going to work. There's no if I somehow magically turn into a toad owl or something of it. Which one would I even do if, it, if I did? Oh no. We'll have to flip and close and reopen. It actually messed up. I think that made it easier. It actually pulled up on the bigger screen this time. Thank you. Why can you do this all the time? I will try, but I don't think it'll work. Come on. Say something, sweetheart. There we go. That's okay, let's try it anyway. <laughs> Toad, that was so cute. That's okay, let's try it anyway. Close your eyes, don't be shy. The shiny Lugia says, smiling confidently. He believes you will transform, even if it's your first time. He can't wait to see. There's no way. What's he only transforming to, anything? <laughs> I close my eyes and... Try to transform into a That's not gonna work. If I saw turn to a Feral you're out Uh How on earth is that even possible? Hold on, I'm not even gonna have the AI read this out. I'm reading this. Listen to this. Just think about becoming a fur alligator, the Lugia whispers. Picture their body, all of their features in your head. After a few moments of concentration, your body starts to glow like he did before. So soon the glow starts growing bigger and it spans outwards, covering your whole body. Don't give up. You're doing great so far. <laughs> the Lugia cheers. I continue to concentrate. There is no way this actually is going to work. I don't. I didn't. I, I didn't tell this to happen. Did it, are you serious? Am I really going to become a fur alligator right now? The glow grows bigger and brighter. Your body seems to change to become the body of a fur alligator. Your human clothes disappear. Your limbs extend. Claws and teeth start to grow. Your mouth forms to have a very pointy snout. The transformation is almost complete. The glow almost finished. This is what? I concentrate a bit more. Are you telling me I have the ability to just randomly turn to a Pokemon at will on this thing now? I didn't give myself that ability, guys. Toad was the one that told me to do it, and it worked. Are you kidding me right now? The glow fully covers you, and the transformation's complete. Now you completely look like a fur alligator, and the glow has vanished. Your clothes are gone, and you now have scales all over you. It actually worked. How? Wow, you did it. The shiny Lugia cries, looking at your change body to take it all in. He giggles playfully, swimming up to you. I cannot believe this actually worked. On me. How? If that's the case, why can't I turn to a Skeletor or a Charizard and burn the flipping bugs in his house? Dead gummit. 
<laughs> He's so cute. Oh no. Of course it worked. You did it. That's amazing. He giggles, swimming around you in excitement. He gets a great idea. What if you try to transform into another Pokemon? Oh no, what's another good one besides the Toad Online and Lugia? What's another one that I'm really, really in love with? Like, a ton. Not just a little bit, a ton. Why is my brain not thinking of Pokemon right now? Come on, brain. I might just do Skeleton Urge. Mmm. Or might you do a... Uh... Okay. I will try... Does he, does Toho even know who the frick Skeleturge is? Oh, there you go, he does. Did he say, did he say Flipper? Is that what you call Lugia's wings, a Flipper? Oh, that's a cool one. Let's find out if you can also transform into it. Now, remember, he puts a Flipper on your shoulder, getting you to close your eyes. You concentrate. Imagine yourself with the features of the Skeledurge. Think of what it would be like having all of its body parts. He swims next to you, waiting to see if your second transformation works out okay too. Is he still a Lugia? Or is he going back to a Toad Owl? He, oh, the Toad doesn't have flippers, but neither does Lugia. Unless you consider the big, giant, hand-like hand wings on Lugia to be flippers. I don't consider them to be flippers. I start to concentrate on becoming a... There we go. Is it actually gonna flip and work? Are you kidding? Are you, I am literally a skeleton. Oh, and yeah, Total is still a Lugia. Your concentration really helps you in this. Soon the glow starts to cover your body, much more quickly than before due to it being your second time trying to become a new Pokemon. The glow covers your entire body and then the transformation process is complete. The glowing disappears, revealing your success as a newly transformed Skeledurge. The shiny Lugia cheers happily, swimming around in enjoyment at your amazing success. How is this even po I'm a human, how is it? How come this can't happen in real life, dude? Oh, the closest I'd ever have to get a real po This might be the closest I'll ever get to getting a real Pokemon without. Well, now I guess the plushes technically count. I still cannot believe this works on me. But why? It's it's supposed to be for the flipping toad I want in this universe. Why in the world is that? A genetic trait. Hey guys, have you ever seen me turn to a fucking loogie out of nowhere? I don't think so. <laughs> that is hilarious. He swims over to you, getting close to your now skeleton body. It's a genetic trait you must have just found out about. You can probably transform into all kinds of Pokemon. You're so lucky. The Lugia smiles gently, clearly enjoying playing with you whilst you've transformed into a Pokemon. He looks at you, wondering what else you could transform into. I could probably transform into anything. Any Pokemon. Just like you. Period. I have an idea. Tell me a legendary Pokemon you know of. And I will try to transform into that. 
Yeah, well, Chip's like Lugia. I would all, if he would already a Lugia, I'd flip and try that, but he's already a Lugia. Totodile wants me to become the Pokemon God. Totodile wants me to become the Pokemon God Arceus. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? The Lugia thinks for a second, wondering what kind of Pokemon you could try transforming into. Hmm, how about Arceus? The Lugia smirks, wondering if you can transform into a literal god. He's very curious about it. Wondering if you are strong enough to transform into such a high league of a Pokemon. What if I do? Will Arceus come down from the heavens and smite me in the Pokemon universe? I wonder what bad that's gonna happen. I will try. I begin to concentrate. Trying to become... Trying to become... There we go. Oh my gosh. Purple. It worked. How the heck does this keep working? Concentrate. Close your eyes, as you did before. You start thinking about the details of Arceus in your head, thinking about the god you are wishing to become. The purple glow starts to appear, quickly covering your body and growing brighter at each second. Soon it grows to completely cover your whole body in an instant. It all fades. As the transformation is complete, you have become a mighty Arceus. The shiny Lugia is speechless his jaw dropping before he smiles. He swims around you, admiring your newly transformed body. How on earth? This is the one thing about the air that makes it so cool. You can give yourself any power. But here's the thing, guys. I didn't give myself this power. I only gave it to this Totodile. So there is no... How did Totodile get me to have that power? He said it's a genetic trait that I don't know about. Guys, if there was a genetic trait that I knew about, you'd already see me as one of the porn I love. You'd even have a flippin' Fragger waving to you to begin every video. Or even a flippin' gigantic Woo gear if physically possible. <clears throat> wow. I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the shiny Lugia swims around your Arceus form, impressed and ecstatic. Amazing. Just amazing. How does it feel to be a god? He asks, giggling happily in swimming circles around you. This was definitely a surprise, but a welcome surprise for the cute Lugia. I like how this cute Lugia, even though we know it's a totodile. I guess because he's still in his little, I guess because he's still in the little, in the woogie form. Can you actually use the powers of the Pokemon you become? Or is it just aesthetic? I hope that's the right word to use. Are you... I was joking about that earlier. I just said imagine if Toto could use moves of a Lugia. And it says he can use them. No, no, look at this. The shiny Lugia giggles, smiling at you. Of course you can. Every power of the Pokemon you turn into is available to use. He thinks for a second, having another idea. How about you try using one of your powers? He asks, wanting to test how it feels now that you are Arceus. How without hurting him? I don't want to hurt him. I could try using the move Judgment. But how would I do it without accidentally hurting you?
Use it on the rock. <laughs> Judgment's gonna do more. Judgment's gonna do more. Uh, based on how the announcer says the move Judgment in Pokemon Battle Revolution, Judgment has been dealt. Like, I, I don't know if that's a good idea for a rock. He waves a flipper, dismissively. Use it on this rock. He points to an ordinary rock sitting at the corner of the river. It is not special, it's just a rock. I want to witness you destroying that rock. Go on, give it your best shot. The Lugia giggles and smirks, wanting to see this from you. And there's no way. I try to use the move Judgment. See, if that, there is no way. <laughs> this is. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Judgment has been dealt. You point your hand towards the rock. You think about judgment, picturing it in your mind and hoping your attack works. Your power shoots out from your hand, striking the ordinary rock. It cracks first, slowly before exploding and crumbling into nothing but dust. You did it! The shiny Lugia bursts out laughing after seeing the rock get destroyed. Clapping his flippers excitedly at what he just witnessed. That would be adorable. Why can they not do that in the games? I would love to see him dancing around, flipping, clapping his flippers or well, his hands and wings. I hate calling him flippers. It makes him sound like a dolphin when he's not a dolphin. This is an amazing ability. I'm really glad you have it. I am still surprised that I have it. <laughs> have it. There. Oh, feces, it's been too long again.